as a government over the years has embarked on several initiatives to improve the business environment in the country. But it appears for most small businesses, they are yet to feel the impact of these reforms, especially when it comes to the speed to get businesses registered. Charles IT, as part of today's Business Journal, looks into some of these concerns. The paperless port system, online business registry are some of the few reforms that government introduced with the vision of turning things around for every business, especially small enterprises. However, for some entrepreneurs, they are really worried about the slow pace at which business regulations are enforced, especially when it comes to business registration. The Baden fashion designer Patrick Aj in Ketia, whose emerging brand Utama Africa focuses on African prints. I first asked him how easy it was registering his business. It was not an easy one. Uh, I picked up the forms and going through the process. I, f I think I filled it twice. After that, we submitted countless follow-ups. You need to follow up, you need to follow up every time. He gave me a particular guy, I followed up with him several times. And that's what it is, it wouldn't come easy. So how many months or weeks did it take for you to get a business with <laughs> uh, It took months, because the follow-ups that I did, I wouldn't say it was in a particular month. I would do, I did follow-ups and, you know, maybe three months. Yeah, yeah first maybe three months, yes. Business registration is one of the index by which the ease of doing business in Ghana is measured. But for entrepreneurs like Patrick, paying bribes to get through the bottlenecks of registration has now become a norm. If you're not, if you're not able to fight the system, you will not be able to go far. You should be able to be brave and fight the system. You know, the system, and that's how it's, it's, it has been. Bureaucracy, uh, you know, how things go, you have to still find your way through, make contacts, people who know people, so that you can push your way through. My next stop was the Bazin Pork Shop of Enes Mensa, a young entrepreneur who supplies pork to eateries across the country. He shares his experience with Joy Business. I paid about 500 CDs, yeah. That should never have been the case. Yeah, yeah, it shouldn't. It's less than five. It's way less than 500 cities. But because of the system, you understand. So you have to. You are forced to. You want to do the right thing. But going through that process, I think you end up doing the wrong thing. According to the Registrar General, you would need 10 Ghana cities to purchase a set of limited liability forms. After lodging the completed forms at the registry, you then pay a prescribed fee of 230 cities after which the Registrar issues a certificate in three working days, a timeline inconsistent with what entrepreneurs like Patrick and Ernest narrated to Joy Business. Despite talking 114 at the World Bank Doing Business Report, enterprises say there is still more to be done to ensuring a viable business environment. The more reason why the multimedia group, in partnership with the Department of International Development, DFID, unveiled the Business Enabling Environment Project, BEEP, which will in the coming days be seeking answers and solutions to the varied problems entrepreneurs like Patrick and Ernest continue to face. For Joy Business, Charles Aite reporting. Yeah, boy,